In this tutorial, I will show you how to find the critical values in a chi-square procedure. Um, and in order for us to do that, we have to be provided with the type of the procedure, which is chi-square in this case. We have to be provided with a significance level, uh, which in this case is 1%. And we have to be provided with the type of the test, uh, such as whether it's a left tail, right tail, or two tail. In this case, it's a right tail test, so we are ready to begin. Uh, we're going to follow the following steps. First, we're going to draw the probability density curve um, of the test statistics distribution, in this case, chi-square. Then we're going to draw the rejection region. In this case, it's a right tail. Um, and then we're going to label the areas and the critical values and then we'll compute the critical values. So this is the um, steps. These are the steps. And we're going to start with drawing a generic probability uh, density curve for chi-square distribution. Uh, chi-square distributions are known to be right skewed, and um, it doesn't have to be an accurate uh, image of it, but any right skewed curve would do. So let's go with this one. Next, we're going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the procedure. In the right tail test, we're going to draw the rejection region to the right. So this is my rejection region. And then we're going to use the fact that alpha is 1% to label all the areas. And we know that the rejection region's area must be equal to alpha in order for the hypothesis testing procedure to work as intended. And therefore, the area to the left of the critical value will be 0.99. Using the chi-squared notation, we are uh, using the chi, well, the chi-squared notation along with alpha notation, we can label this critical value as chi-squared sub 0 0.01, where 0 0.01 represents the area to the right. We can immediately notice that in the right tail test, there is no left critical value. So we can enter D and E, that stands for doesn't exist. And to find the right critical value, we're going to use the fact that the probability of a chi-squared variable being greater than the critical value uh, is 0 0.01. So to answer this, we can, to find the actual critical value, we can either use a statistical table or a calculator, I'm going to use uh, StatCrunch because it's quite visual. But everything I do in StatCrunch can be done using an, an alternative way. So let's open a chi-square calculator. In this case, the number of degrees of freedom are 28. And I'm just going to recreate that same diagram that I just created by hand uh, in StatCrunch. So the area to the right of the unknown critical value, which is left blank, is equal to 0 0.01. And this is my right critical value. Uh, we submit to check the work and we got it right. So let's do another problem. Before we do two tail test, let's try a left tail test. So here's a left test, left tail test procedure. And to find the critical values, we're going to follow exactly the same uh, steps. We're going to continue using the same probability density curve. Um, we're going to draw the rejection region according to the type of the procedure. So it's going to the left and uh, we're going to label the areas. So the area to the left is 1% and the area to the right is 99%. So using the alpha notation, we're going to label this critical value as chi squared 0.99. Now you can find this value using the statistical table for chi-square distribution or TI-83 calculator, but one way or another, we, we, you are or we are going to be using the fact that the probability of chi-squared being greater than chi-squared sub 0.99 is equal to 0.99, but which also implies that the area to the left of this critical value is equal to 0 0.01. So in StatCrunch, I'm going to open the right calculator that is the one with 19 degrees of freedom. And then I can either use the fact that the area to the right of the critical value is 99%. And then this is my critical value. Also, let's observe that the right critical value in a left tail test does not exist. Or I can use the fact that the area to the left of my left critical value is equal to exactly alpha. And this is how you get your critical value using 
that fact. Uh, one way or another, we obtained the right answer. So let's check the work and we got it right. So let's try to do a uh, two tail test. Uh, there you go. So in a two-tail test, we're going to use exactly the same steps as outlined before. So we're going to use the same generic chi-squared curve. And I'm going to draw my rejection region uh, in both sides, in both tails of the distribution. RR stands for rejection region. And now I'm going to label the area. So if the total area of the rejection region is alpha, which is 5%, that means every uh, one of the two rejection regions must be equal to 0 0.025. And the area in between is equal to 95%. Now using the alpha notation, we can label this critical value as chi squared sub 0 0.025 and we can label this critical value as chi squared sub 0 0.975 because the area to the right of the left critical value in this case is uh, 0 0.975 it's 0.95 plus 0 0.025 now to find the right critical value we can use the fact that the probability of the chi squared uh, variable being greater than the chi squared 0 0.025 is equal to 0 0.0 25 and to find the left critical value we can either use we can go off the alpha notation and use the fact that the probability of chi squared being greater than chi squared sub 0 0.975 is equal to 0.975 or if you have advanced technology such as StatCrunch, which is definitely more advanced than excel or statistical table or uh, or ti 83 um, and then you, you can use the fact that the area to the left of the left critical value is equal to half of alpha. So let's start with finding the right critical value. The area to the right of some of our right critical value is equal to half of alpha. So this is our right critical value. And the area to the left of the left critical value is equal to also 0 0.025. So this is like the easiest way to find critical values, kind of like taking advantage of the um, available uh, technology. However, we could have also used the fact that the area to the right of the left critical value is equal to 0.975. You just have to uh, adjust the inequality here, and we also get the same left critical value. However, in StatCrunch, we can also use um, a two-sided inequality, and we can use the fact that the area in between is... Uh, and I just realized that I didn't open the right uh, calculator here, so I have to put degrees of freedom 14 here and recalculate everything. And let me show you how to do it actually in one step. So I'm just going to use the fact that the area between the two critical values is equal to 0 0.95. Uh, and this, this computation will give me both uh, critical values. So earlier I made a mistake by not using the right calculator. So let me correct my answers. And I'm going to show you how to recalculate that 6 to 9 uh, in a moment. So again, we can use the fact, if we go back to one-sided inequality, we can use the fact that the area to the right of the right critical value is half of alpha. So again, look, we get the same exact answer. And we can also use the same kind of setup in StatCrunch to find the left critical value and that is finding the value, the area to the left of which is equal to half of alpha, which is this. So one way or another, there are multiple ways here we can find uh, both critical values. Now, a quick warning is that since the chi-square distribution is not uh, symmetric, you cannot assume that the left critical value will be the opposite of the right critical value. It's simply not the case for uh, non-symmetric uh, distributions. And uh, let's submit this to check the work and i'm going to do one of each type of the problems once again but this time i'm not going to draw out every step i'm just going to kind of uh, walk you through uh, my thought process as i'm doing it in StatCrunch. so in this right tail procedure the first step i'm going to make is i'm going to pick the right calculator and then i'm going to use the fact that it's a right tail test, so the area to the right of my right critical value is equal to alpha, which is 0 0.01. And this is the image that 
you would expect and that's the answer so and the left critical value in the right tail test does not exist that's a rule and uh, let's check the work of course it's correct and uh, let's do left tail test so in this case i'm going to open a chi-square calculator with 24 degrees of freedom and now it's a left tail test so the area to the left of the left critical value the left critical value goes right there uh, is equal to alpha which is 0 0.01 so the left critical value is this and in a left tail test the right critical value does not exist let's check the work and um, let's do another two tail test so we'll have two of each so this is a two tail test um, i'm going to open a chi-square calculator with 23 degrees of freedom and i'm going to use a quick shortcut here just to show you how powerful it is i'm going to enter the one minus alpha here and these are my critical values however we can also do it step by step similar to how we've done it previously um, that is using one-sided inequality we can just say that the area to the right of my right critical value is equal to half of alpha so it's five percent notice how we got exactly the same answer and uh, the area to the left of my left critical value is also equal to half of alpha and notice how we got the same exact answer let's submit and we've done uh two of each type uh of the procedures uh that you can observe in the chi-square tests and if you have any questions please let me know